Are you the type of rider when the track gets beat up and rough that you look for any rut possible that doesn't have acceleration chop? You're not alone. I was the same type of rider. My name is Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and today I'm going to teach you some tips that have helped me get through long ruts that have bad acceleration chop. We're out here today at Cash Valley MX with the RMX Academy and uh, I was a student today. We participated in their riding school and learned a lot of great tips and one aspect where I was struggling was what I just talked about, long ruts that have bad acceleration chop. And where I was struggling in ruts like these is I'd be okay about halfway through the turn, but as I was starting to accelerate out, I'd get off balance, my front tire would deflect, climb out of the rut, and I just never seemed to get a good drive and track straight out of the rut. So that is something that I focused on today. I got some really good tips from Riley and the guys, and I wanna share those with you so that if you're struggling with this type of rut, these can really help you out. So let me just start this by saying, Acceleration chop sucks, but there's nothing we can really do about it. And there's a lot of times where there is no smooth line and you just have to suck it up and get through it. But here's what you can do to get through these ruts as best as possible. Tip number one, and we say this a lot, you gotta have your weight over the front of your motorcycle. And this goes for any rut, but it's, ex it's even more important when you have acceleration chop because you gotta get weight over the front of the bike. That's gonna keep the front tire weighted to the ground and that's gonna help keep you better balanced on the bike and that's also gonna help the bike track better as you exit the rut and the more weight that you can get over the front of the bike, the more it's actually gonna help lighten up the rear tire a little bit so it doesn't feel as harsh as you're exiting through all that. So you gotta exaggerate sitting forward on the motorcycle. I was, today when I was riding, I felt like I was sitting far enough forward and they told me you're not. You gotta act like you're trying to sit on your gas cap. So I over-exaggerated that and that's what I would recommend to you is over exaggerate sitting forward on the bike. The other tip going along with that to help get that weight over the bike is pretend or try to feel like you're pulling your handlebars up into your chest as you're going to accelerate out. And that's just gonna help pull you up and forward on the motorcycle to try and get as much weight forward as you can. So that was really what I focus on today a lot. And I'm telling you right now, when I took those tips and I applied them correctly, it was a huge difference. You also got to focus on looking forward. You want to look at the end of the rut, you know, all the other tips that you learned about with corners, but those were the big tips today that helped me out. Exaggerate sitting forward on the bike. Feel like you're pulling the handlebars up in your chest to get that weight forward and look to the exit and see where you want to go. Another little tip that can help you out is, you know, a lot of people talk about this, getting your feet on the foot pegs. The earlier that you can get your feet on the pegs through a rut like this, that's gonna allow you to actually lift and stand a little bit to get your butt off the seat. And that way the shock can move a little bit more freely underneath you and you're not gonna feel that acceleration chop nearly as bad as if you were sitting down. So that is something that you could definitely practice. You can do it one-legged. If you watch some of the pros, they'll go through a corner, inside leg is up, they're waiting the outside foot peg, but as they go to accelerate out, you'll see them actually with one leg, this is why you gotta work out, actually hover their butt just off the seat. So those are the tips that I learned today that I wanna share with you guys. So if you're struggling with ruts like this that have acceleration chop, take those tips, apply them, and it's gonna help you be a better rider. If you like this video, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell. We got a lot more just like it. And that way you'll always be up to date on the videos that we release just like this. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.